How's it going, everybody? I really haven't done a uh, YouTube video in a while since last plot day. But, uh, yeah, I'm still here. I'm still making the videos. Still got all the tractors. Well, some of them, I should say. But this is just kind of an update video. Uh, uh, get ready for plow day and to show my new little plow day tractor I've been working on. You see in one other video this Farmall A that I got. So my purple Farmall H that I had is uh, gone. I traded it for this A. And you may see it has a 6-volt battery on it for a 12-volt system. So I got to get a new one of those. But anyhow, this is the Farmall A. Um, not much to it. I'll do a video in depth on it if I keep it that long. It currently is for sale. Someone might be buying it here soon. But that's the Farmall A. It's a new addition. The Farmall H is gone, but that's there. Go outside because it's raining. But if you look down there, the Simplicity and the 430 are still there. But you're going to notice one tractor is missing. I did end up selling a 318. Never did a video on it, but it started having a knock around uh, December, mid-December. Started to get me a knock, pulled the engine. Well, I was going to do a brig swap in it, but I would never got the money to do the brig swap. So I just took the engine out and had it all tore apart. And I sold it, and uh, I don't regret it. I still love the 318, one of the best garden tractors ever made. Uh, I'll probably get another one here soon, but for now, that 318... D318 of the channel is, uh, it's gone. On to the main subject here, the 312. So most people, if you know the channel, know the, uh, the 88 312 with the electric lift, all the manuals, and this thing is like mint. So here it is. Um, it does have a stack now. It's got the front weight bracket, which I think the front weight bracket was on it in the uh, Cypher's plow day. I'm not sure if it, it might not have been. But it has the taller stack on it now. Um, there's not really much that's really changed on it. But I'm going to get into like the major things that have changed on it. But it's, a, it's the same 312. But it's going to be my new plow day tractor. It's going to be the new plow rig for this year. And for a while, I think. It's probably the most noticeable thing. Now, these are something I just put on maybe 20 minutes ago. These are D-Stone 4 uh, by 008008. Uh, tri ribs, yeah. I people have been trying to get me to get tri ribs for my tractors for a while. I was just gonna go with V61s and put them on those wheels, but I ended up buying a set of Cub Cadet narrow front wheels and uh, I bought the uh, D stone front tri ribs for it. And I gotta say, I haven't really driven it with them on it yet, but just sitting in the garage, I can turn this wheel with my pinky, it's like. The power, it's like power steering, but on a garden tractor. It's phenomenal. The back end of it, these are the ag tires on the original wheels That's that's been on it forever. These are the airlocks that I got a while ago. And they do have the John Deere Bolins. Well, not John Deere, but the Bolins weights on it that were on the 318. Don't worry, they're getting sandblasted and painted red. That's why I have one off over there. But these are those. And that, the airlocks are actually coming off. That's why I have one right there. And the one's still on. The only reason I haven't pulled this one off yet is uh, this hub actually needs a new uh, wood. They're called woodruff keys. It actually has a bad key in the axle. So if you look in there, that hub, the center piece right here is all the way flush with the hub. If you come over to the other side and look, you actually have a bit of a gap on the inside. So if I want to fit the wider wheels, which... I'm gonna have to have a lot of room for. I need to get that woodruff key so the wheels stop sliding in so they stay out more. You may recognize these wheels. These are the original 89.520 wheels and, and, and the tires. These wheels were on the uh, 89.520, a little bit after I got it, which is, it's gone. But these used to be on it and there's the other one over there. But I have a little bit of story to tell about these wheels. So these wheels here start off as the rusty version, and I'll throw some pictures up here. Uh, they started out as a rusty version with the high runs on the 89.520, sold the 520, and then I did the 312 polder build, which was absolutely stupid. Painted in black, wrong paint, wrong primer, it just scratched off over anything. Then I got the little 12 horse. Uh, I don't even think I did a video on the 12 horse, I'll do a whole explanation on that. Little 1973 wheel horse, 12, uh, 8 speed. So I had the almond ones on there, which is what's on the 312 now. And they were, they were really nice, you know, looked great. Sold the 12. Somewhere around that time, Joe's B100 needed ag tires. So I lent him these for uh, the Marburger Plow Day, which uh, that was a scrapped video because it was just bad. 
So they were on there for a while, took them off, and now they're on the 312. Anyways, the wheel weights are gonna be sandblasted. They're gonna be painted red to match the tractor. I got the plow on there. Everything's just fitted absolutely perfect. I'm gonna get the Coulter wheel painted and done all up on that. New seat, yeah. This thing's gone through about two seats. Uh, I had Marty's old 520 seat on there for a while. And uh, I had the old seat, which is back there, the junk old seat. I just bought this today. It's a nice tractor supply seat. Uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a lot better. It's, it's not mess around here. Let's see if she'll fire up. A little cold start for you. Battery was a little bit dead. I should probably plug it in. Thing, it runs really good. That's all I gotta say. Anyways, that's kind of the yearly update and the uh, the big build on the 312. It's still not done, but it's uh it's about 85% done, I would say. It's getting real close. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, next episode or next video, I should say, should be a PA Plade, and I'm not talking about the Beacon Plade, the PA Plade.